in text citations using MLA 9th. In this video, we will cover the basics of how to properly use in text citations in MLA format. First things first, use a citation guide. A citation guide is a set of rules outlining how to properly cite sources in academic writing, offering specific formats for various source types. It ensures consistency and accuracy in citations. You can access a free online MLA guide by going to the Citations and Research Hub on the Learning Portal to find links to your college's citation guides. Whenever you're unsure of what to do, you can always refer to your citation guide. In MLA style, referring to the works of others in your text is done using parenthetical citations. Anytime that you paraphrase or quote someone else's words or ideas within the body of your paper, you must give credit to the original author with an in-text citation. This method involves providing relevant source information in parentheses whenever a sentence uses a quotation or paraphrase. The in-text citation refers the reader to the full reference in the works cited list at the end of the paper. The rule of thumb is that any information you include in the in-text citation must match the first thing that appears in the corresponding works cited entry. Usually this will be the author's name. MLA format follows something called the author page method of an in-text citation, which requires the inclusion of the author's last name and the relevant page number or numbers within the text. Here's a guide along with some examples to help you master the art of MLA parenthetical citations. Number one, to quote or not to quote. If you are directly quoting an author's exact words, use quotation marks around the text, then include your in-text citation. For example, quote, the impact of climate change is undeniable, end quote, followed by Smith 45 in parentheses. If you're paraphrasing the author's ideas in your own words, Quotation marks are not necessary, but a citation should still be given when your ideas are derived from another source. If your citation is at the end of a sentence, always place the period after the parenthetical citation. Number two, author's name in the sentence. If the author's name is mentioned in your sentence, this is called a signal phrase. When you use a signal phrase, you only need to include the page numbers in parentheses. For example, according to Smith, the impact of climate change is undeniable, with the page number 45 in parentheses. Number three, author's name not in the sentence. If the author's name is not mentioned in your sentence, include both the author's last name and the page number in parentheses. For example, the impact of climate change is undeniable, with Smith 45 in parentheses. Number four, no known author. If the source has no identifiable author, use a shortened version of the title in quotation marks. For example, impact of climate change in quotation, followed by the page number 45 in parentheses. Number five, multiple authors. For sources with two authors, include both names. For example, Johnson and Miller 78 in parentheses. Make sure to fully write out the word and. For sources with three or more authors, Use the first author's name followed by et al. and the publication date. In et al., et should not be followed by a period. Only all should be followed by a period. For example, Brown et al., 112, in parentheses. Number six, citing multiple works by the same author. Differentiate between works by the same author by including a shortened title in the citation. For example, Smith, then a comma, then the title of the work in quotations. Impact, followed by the page number 45. Number seven, using multiple sources in one citation. To cite multiple sources in the same parenthetical reference, separate the citations within the parentheses by a semicolon. Order them the same way they appear in the works cited lists, which would be alphabetically. For example, Burke 3, followed by a semicolon, then Dewey 21 in parentheses. Number eight, no page numbers. If a print source uses a labeling or numbering system other than page numbers, such as a poem or a script, use other location information, like paragraph numbers or section headings. For example, DO with the abbreviation PAR for paragraph, followed by a period, then the paragraph number, in this case 4. Number 9. Non-print sources. Citing non-print sources, such as a web page or online news article, can be tricky 
because you could often stumble upon something that has no page numbers and no listed author. If there is an author listed, use their name in the parentheses. If you use the author's name in the signal phrase and there are no page numbers, you do not need to provide a parenthetical citation at all. If there is no author listed and no page numbers, use a shortened version of the article title by itself. Try to avoid using URLs and in-text citations. Remember to check the MLA handbook or the official MLA website for any updates or specific details, as citation guidelines may evolve over time. You can also go to the Citation and Research Hub on the Learning Portal to see examples of how to cite various sources, both in-text and in full, for a work cited. It may seem confusing and complicated to properly cite your sources, but by following these simple steps, you'll have it mastered in no time. If you ever need a little more help, check out the Citation and Research module on the Learning Portal, or contact your college library.